Over the years, Nintendo has released dozens upon dozens of Mario spin-off games, specifically of the sports variety. All of the characters have their own special skills, but today, I'm going to find out which character would actually be the best at sports. Here's some rules. This is the main cast. Goomba, Koopa Paratroopa, Wario, Daisy, Donkey Kong, Toad, Peach, Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Bowser, Rosalina, Waluigi, Boo, Koopa Troopa. This is usually the cast of their sports games, so these are the ones I'm going to be using. Let's start with an easy elimination. Goomba, get out of here. Also, I believe flight is considered cheating in sports, so goodbye Koopa Paratroopa and goodbye Boo. With this as our starting cast, let's get into the actual ranking. The next elimination, I think is a pretty easy one, and that's Toad. He's short, he has no legs, and honestly he doesn't seem all that athletic. He just doesn't fit in with the whole sports thing. He doesn't look like he's strong, he just has nothing that would help him in any way in any sport. Another easy elimination for me is Koopa Troopa. It is pretty much the same as Toad. It might have some more power behind those legs, but in the end, it's just small and weak. The next elimination for me is probably one of the easiest, Wario. To put it lightly, or say, to put it honestly, he's fat. He's not good at sports. I, I know Kanaki's like 7 feet tall or something, but he is just not built for sports. The rest of the class, I believe, could be successful at any sport. Well, especially really specialized ones. So I think we have to make some adjustments. Change what criteria we're using, because Yoji for a long time would be unfair. But like Bowser and basketball would also be unfair. So we need to decide what sport or sports we are going off of. I believe the criteria should be athleticism based games, endurance slash skill based games, size slash skill based games, and of course overall athleticism. Using my new criteria, I think the next out is Bowser. Sure he has size, sure he has strength. But he doesn't exactly have speed or agility or, from what I've seen, endurance. He doesn't seem to have skill, he just relies on his pure size and strength as seen there. So, I think that he wouldn't be the greatest at this wide variety of sports. He'd be good, but not the best. The next two that happen to go, I am sad to say, are the bros themselves. Honestly... Mario's short, and I know Luigi's tall and has higher jumping, but he's also short unless he has a power-up. Like, you guys don't realize how small these guys are. Sure, they're fast, sure they can jump, but I just don't see much out of them other than those skills. They don't have any size. They, they wouldn't do well in size-based sports, and I also don't think they do well necessarily in skill-based sports. They just do a lot of running and jumping. So I don't think that requires that much skill. The next ones out are another dynamic duo, Peach and Daisy. Best friends in real life, they just don't have strength. From what I have seen in the games, they usually can't overpower any enemies. So, it really would be a struggle to win in sports for them. Not saying they couldn't, because they made it this far. But I just think they wouldn't be the greatest at sports. And then, there were four. I think the best way to approach these four is to do it tournament style. Specifically, group stage style. Because it's really quite difficult to judge these ones on their own. Because they have such high qualities in so many different aspects of what could be great at sports. That you just can't tell by looking at these four. 
with these two, you can't underestimate their skills. Yoshi's power of sword of flight, Waluigi being lanky and fast and tall. So, when you compare these two, you have to think about those attributes. What is more important? And I think Waluigi's build and athleticism outweighs Yoshi's ability to be higher or jump or any of that. Next up, Rosalina versus Donkey Kong. Now, this is a very tough matchup. One is essentially a god, but the other is like an 8 foot tall, insanely strong, fast monkey. How can you even compare them? But, I think sports wise, I have to give it to Donkey Kong. Next up is Rosalina versus Yoshi. This isn't really going to be that close. One is a celestial being that can run the universe. And the other is a dinosaur that can sort of float. I really don't think this is much of a debate. Rosalina is taller, stronger, and has so much more power. Easily beats Yoshi in sports. Gotta give it to Rosa. Do we even need to talk about this one? This is a very interesting matchup. Donkey Kong went through on Rosalina because he had the physical tools, not necessarily the powerful god tools. But Luigi doesn't exactly have the power. He's lanky, he's quick, he's athletic, but he doesn't have the power advantage. He just doesn't have what Donkey Kong has. He's just like toned down. So for that, I gotta give this point to Rosalina. This could be it. If Donkey Kong wins this matchup, he wins it all. But if Waluigi wins this matchup, it comes down to the individual wins. So let's take a look. Donkey Kong is bigger, he's stronger, he's beefier. He can do those size-based games. But Waluigi, he might be faster, he's lankier, but he's not nearly as tall. So... For those reasons, I think that Donkey Kong's skill just outclasses Waluigi's. And what Waluigi is good at, Donkey Kong is too. It's official. With three points, Donkey Kong wins it all. He is the best Mario character at sports. With a mix of his size, his strength, his his athleticism, he is unmatched when it comes to any sport. He wins all the time, and there is nothing you can do to stop him. So that is why Donkey Kong is the best at Mario sports and sports in general.